The all new Mercedes W206 C-Class is on its way and it looks like it's gonna be a baby S-Class. Here are my seven things you need to know about the new C-Class. First up is the exterior changes. Hood ornaments are gone. You can now only get the C-Class with the Mercedes badge on the front grille. And speaking of front grille, the C-Class now features a newly designed grille. AMG line models now get a signature grille featuring Mercedes freestyle pins all across the grille. Jumping to the rear, we now have these sleek, slim, horizontal tail lamps. These are slowly becoming the staple of all the future Mercedes-Benz models. Inside the new C-Class is the biggest changes with this totally new designed interior. It's a technology lover's dream with ambient lighting and two large screens. One is a digital dash full of customization, and most importantly is this huge center console with a touchscreen. This center screen is the heart of the new interior and hosts Mercedes MBUX, Mercedes' latest infotainment system. It features all the things we loved in A-Class, such as the Hey Mercedes intelligent voice commands, integrated music streaming, and even a futuristic augmented reality satellite navigation. MBUX is one of the best car systems on the market with impressive response times, speeds, and a really easy to use interface. Often reserved for more larger cars, the compact C-Class now features optional rear axle steering. This system will virtually increase or decrease the car's wheelbase depending on the situation. The system can switch from counter direction to same direction steering, giving you better low speed maneuverability and better high speed stability. With rear axle steering, the turning circle is reduced by 43 centimeters. The maximum steering angle for the rear is 2.5 degrees. Like most new models, the car has now grown in size from almost every angle. The saloon or sedan model now measures 4,751 millimeters, which is 65 millimeters more than the current model. It's also 10 millimeters wider with an increased wheelbase of 25 millimeters. This all contributes to a lot more interior space. Let's talk about engines. So the new C-Class gets a four cylinder engine lineup right into the C63. Today, we're just gonna be focusing on the standard lineup. I will be discussing the AMG models in more depth in another video. First is the C200, which is powered by a 1.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine with an integrated starter generator producing 204 PS and 300 Newton meters of torque. Then there's the C300, which has a larger two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine, which also features the integrated starter generator. This produces 258 PS and 400 Newton meters of torque. This is identical to the BMW's 330i, so you just know these two models are gonna go face to face. There will also be a plug-in hybrid model with electric motors producing 120 PS with a claimed all electric range of up to 60 miles. This is ran by a 25.4 kilowatt battery. The new C-Class is set to be a more comfortable car with a new four-link axle at the front and a multi-link axle at the rear mounted on the subframe. This is said to provide the basis for a high level of suspension, ride and noise comfort. It's also looking to give more agility to the handling and driving fun. Air suspension is set to make a return too. All cars are paired with a nine-speed automatic transmission. This has been developed further to adapt to the integrated starter generator. So both the C200 and C300 are set to be available with optional 4MATIC drive systems as well. The new C-Class is going to be loaded with all the new driving assistance and safety systems. The new Active Distance Assist is now able to detect stationary objects at 60 miles per hour compared to the previous 30 miles per hour. Active Steering Assist now helps the driver stay in lane at speeds of up to 130 miles per hour. New features include additional lane recognition with the 360 degree camera with improved availability and performance in bends on country roads, as well as improved lane centering on motorways. Expect to see more safety systems and driving aids when C-Class lands later this year. So what do you guys think of the new C-Class? I'm excited to see all this new technology in the flesh and give it a drive on the road. The C-Class is one of the most important Mercedes cars sitting right in the middle of the lineup. I know you guys are gonna to want to talk about the new AMG models, but there's so much to cover, I'll be looking at this in a separate video. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my content covering what's coming for the new C43 and 63 models. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as it always helps the channel out. Thanks again to all my viewers for supporting the channel. I'll see you all next time.